to try to play it as hard as possible right now. Then I can play something. So give me like I'm just trying to stretch these strings out. <laughs> I did write that though. Did? Yeah, it's a uh, alegría, so, uh, uh, dance, flamenco dance, style of dance. And uh, let me see what else I got. <laughs> called La Catedral by uh, the composer named Agustin Barrios Mangore and he's from Paraguay well he was from Paraguay he uh, was one of the first uh, classical guitarists in the 19th century to tour from South America as an indigenous musician trained as a classical musician and he traveled everywhere he went everywhere he went to Russia where he, uh, he wanted to hear the uh, the savage classical musician they called him. He would do uh, improper, uh, improvisations on his music uh, live. He was a very, very adept musician. From Paraguay. So, yeah, badass guitarist, dude. That was just the first movement. There's like two more. Yeah. <laughs> How long ago was it that you started studying that piece? I was like 13 years old. Oh wow! So it stuck. It's st it stuck with you. But yeah, the, well, the the last movement isn't that long. Okay. And this is the movement that I fell in love with, and it starts out with like a very ominous tone, you know. And the, that was what like drew me to it. And actually, the story behind the piece is that he went to like a he was in Havana, Cuba. Just hanging out and like he started hearing the a mass written by Bach in B minor so he started writing a piece in his mind but in B minor so this is what came out was this first movement <laughs> gangster riff, you know? It's like Shred from like Paraguay, you know? And like a neo-baroque, you know, style. I hear that. It gets crazier, bro.
that movement was like what made me like like the song, right? That's but then the, like is that the last one? That was like the first movie he wrote. Okay. And then he wrote another piece before that and another one. So the first piece is the last piece he wrote to put together, right? If the, that that makes sense. And I actually really like that story behind it because it's like not many people know that story because it's like they just liked it because of the way it sounds and like how crazy it is. <laughs> but uh Give me one second, let me take this real quick. It'll only take me one second. Hey, let me call you right back. Okay, bye. Okay, okay, one, one second. Let me, let me call you right back. Yeah. Sorry about that, Justin. Um, so, like, the second movement's so pretty, dude. Like, yeah. it's like a, a procession piece. Like, very, like... You know? fucking really really enjoy this piece is because like he uses like simplicity to like to per portray a, a complexity there like there's not much really going on in the music there's not much going on in which masters do sometimes right yeah and he just like packs a bunch right in this like right in one boom and he goes right back to this like very Chopin like he's like a Chopin and then he turns into like a, somebody else and he's just going through it's all these comparison. different composers you know like with that part where it's like doing all these crazy licks but he's like a Chopin rather than he's like he's being himself with Chopin and then like changing it up to someone else like I don't know like a Mozart riff or he's just kind of just painting with all these different composers because he's like it's like 18 something 1870s 1880s right so it's a lot of crazy weird shit happening you know steam engine all this other stuff happening yeah. and barely barely getting to like going on tour like he's just like one of the first musicians to tour right like you know it's like a really crazy story. And there's actually a really good movie. I can't remember the name of it right now. But uh, I think it's called Mangore or something like that. Oh, yeah. It's about his life. Like, it's like a biopic of him from like the 80s or the 90s. It was nice, man. Where'd you, where'd you, when did you see that? I saw that, actually, I saw that before I learned the piece, but I didn't really know who it was about. You know what I mean? Oh, nice. Yeah, I was like really young. I was like seven, six, seven years old. So yeah, if you guys want to hear another piece, I don't know if I can play another one, whatever. For all of us, you're warming up for your show and yeah, enjoying right. it. You know? I'll play one song I wrote in Torino, Italy. I call it Taurus, or, or you know, the bull, right? Because the city of bulls, right? Or the bull. Right. So. So I, it's like a mix of. Um, classical guitar with like modern finger style music. That's what I want to do with guitar. That's what I kind of want to push is like a, a neoclassical revolution with a little, little uh, gusto or something, you know what I mean? Different stuff. Mm -hmm. 